The man responsible for the killing of a mother and her daughter at their Point Kumana home last week has been remanded into custody. The 48-year-old soldier attached to the Trinidad and Tobago Regiment appeared at the Port of Spain Magistrates Court on Thursday. Tesson Bradshaw was charged for the murders of 66-year-old Carmelita de Leon and 43-year-old Kalida Shamba. He was also charged with misbehavior in public office for the unlawful possession and use of ammunition, the property of the Trinidad and Tobago Regiment, and misbehavior in public office for the unlawful possession and use of a firearm, the property of the Trinidad and Tobago Regiment. No application for bail was made and a status hearing is scheduled for April 19th and a sufficiency hearing for April 29th, 2024. Shamba and Leon were shot dead on January 2nd at a Riverside Drive, Shorelands Point, Kumano. Bradshaw of Mandalay Gardens, Arima, was found several hours later in a forested area along the Blanchishares Road in Arima. A shooting in broad daylight at Long Circular Mall in St. James has left a gym owner nursing gunshot injuries to his face. In a video that has since gone viral, Michael St. John could be seen approaching his vehicle in the western car park of the mall when a lone gunman came out of a black SUV and fired at him. The gunman then escaped in the SUV. St. John, who was shot in the face, is reportedly in stable condition at hospital. He's the owner of D-Dial Fitness Club at Long Circular Mall. In the aftermath of the shooting, the mall remained open. According to a police source in the Western Division, St. John was not under any type of investigation in that division. Western Division police are continuing investigations. In other news, a 25-year-old man from Irene has been arrested and charged with possession of firearm for the purpose of trafficking. Police officers on Wednesday went to an Arena Village Irene residence where they executed a search warrant for firearms and ammunition. Officers found two shotguns in a kennel located at the back of the house. The 25-year-old was taken to the Pinal Police Station where he was charged with possession of a firearm for the purpose of trafficking. In the Central Division, officers went to John Street Mano Drive Enterprise where they executed a search warrant for firearms and ammunition. While conducting a search of a mini-mart, officers found a transparent plastic bag containing 20 ecstasy pills. One man was arrested and charged with possession of ecstasy for the purpose of trafficking.